did President Biden just make a critical mistake? That is what many people are asking because President Biden just the other day, he actually said the United States is going to pay for that bridge collapse in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, a lot of people are speculating why. Why would President Biden come out on the exact same day before all investigations are even concluded? Why would he come out and say that yes, the United States will pay for this? I wanna break down what's going on and what has many people extremely upset. So make sure you stick around for this entire video so you know exactly what is going on. And all I ask is one thing, takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So the first thing I wanna show you is when President Biden says that he is going to help out and the US government is gonna pay for this. Just look at this. I spoke with Governor Moore this morning, as well as the mayor of Baltimore, the county executive, United, to both United States senators and the congressman. And my secretary of transportation is on the scene. I told them we're going to send all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency. And I mean all the federal resources. And we're going to rebuild that port together. So that was the first thing he said. Later on in that exact same press conference, he had this to say. It's my intention that the federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. And I expect to, the Congress to support my effort. This is going to take some time. The people of Baltimore can count on us, though, to stick with them at every step of the way until the port is reopened and the bridge is rebuilt. So he says it's going to take some time. How much time? Well, according to initial reports, and this press conference with President Biden, this was done yesterday. This was done within 12 hours of when the, the ship actually struck the bridge. But what has many people furious is that President Biden comes out and he says that the federal government is going to pay for this. At the end of this exact same press conference, a reporter says, wait, so the United States is going to pay for this. Why wouldn't the shipping company cover the cost? And he says, well, we're not going to wait. We are going to pay for this. Here's the thing. Some were expecting, and this is where things got very interesting. Some were saying that this bridge was going to be down for about three to six months initially. But then they started to look into the damage. And then here's the next thing. They say, Due to the fact that we don't know how stable the cement base is for the pillars, we cannot just rebuild on top of them. We will need to remove them and rebuild from the ground up. They estimate that the cost of this bridge is going to cost about $2 billion to rebuild, but it's going to take between three and five years. Here's the thing that is crazy about this, is that if we have to rebuild the bridge, we have to pull all the, the material out of the water, we have to block off that section, okay, that corridor that goes into the, the port of Baltimore. Once you do that, that port is unusable. It is simply unusable. So for the next potentially three to five years, there's going to be nothing going in and out of the port of Baltimore. That's going to be a huge economic loss. Now, how much of a loss is that going to be? Well, I want to show you something says the, the economic impact from Baltimore bridge collapse will be long lasting, according to a trade group. It says nearly 4,900 trucks traveled the Francis Scott Key Bridge each day, carrying about $28 billion in goods annually. The economic loss is huge. But this is where some are saying President Biden made a mistake because he now put the United States government on the hook and said Congress if Congress gets behind him, they will pay for this bridge. But why would it start or really start here? Have we not had any other big, uh, big catastrophes here in the United States? Right, Hurricane Katrina, some the uh, what Deepwater Horizon, right in the in the Gulf. What about Lahaina? Right here, it says Hawaii officials aim to help Lahaina rebuild after wildfires ravaged the historic town. So they are trying to rebuild 
Lahaina. Where's President Biden here? When many people were displaced. It says, downright inhumane. Maui victims plea for aid after fires charred homes, lives, and history. We have not seen people get their homes back. Their businesses are still shuttered. Nothing's going to change. Where was President Biden when this happened? I believe all people got was a $700 check to help them with uh, initial costs. Not $2 billion. Where's President Biden there? You may remember this picture. This is the train derailment in East Palestine. What about this? What happened there? It says residents near East uh, Palestine train derailment expressed frustration at promises of aid. It says Pennsylvania state senators held a hearing to hear the concerns of residents near the Norfolk um, Southern disaster. You know what President Biden did? He waited about, what was it like a year? And then he, he went to the scene. And then when he got there, he, uh, he actually blamed the railroad. He didn't say that the United States government's going to come and pay for this. He blamed the railroad. He blamed the, the, the people in charge. So why are we not blaming the people that were in charge of this, this ship that crashed into the pillar that took the lives of at least six people, if not more? That's what's crazy about this. But like they say, rebuilding Baltimore's key bridge will likely take years, experts say. It says the original construction took five years and cost $316 million, uh, in, million in today's dollars. They're expecting it's going to cost $2 billion. And it's going to take between three and five years. That is what they're expecting. So the economic loss on top of the, the actual loss is going to be substantial. But President Biden, just the other day, he made the commitment that the United States government is going to pay for this. That we will pay. We will do whatever we can. Because, because again, this is something that you know we are going to help with. Let me play this one more time. This morning, as well as the mayor of Baltimore, the county executive, United, to both United States senators and the congressman, and my secretary of transportation is on the scene. I told them we're going to send all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency. How can we just send all our federal resources to Hawaii, to Pennsylvania? What were we waiting on? I mean, all the federal resources. And we're going to rebuild that port together. Everything so far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. I want to jump in really quick on that one. He says there's, there's no indication. There's just an accident. No indication of, of a cyber attack. Here's the thing. When he gave this statement, it was within 12 hours of when the accident occurred. Yes, there were, uh, you know, there was some signs that, you know, maybe they did not, they did not try to hit the pillar, and I don't think they did. But could have been a cyber attack. Yes, according to multiple news stations, there were, there were signs of a potential cyber attack. The 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 ship going dark, right? What what happens there? Right, losing all power at a crucial time. I don't know. Let's finish. Let's uh, listen to this one last thing. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. It did. So that, and that's what I was just saying, like there, there were signs that this, yes, they were trying to do the right thing, but at the same time, when you come out in the first day before you can really get an investigation going, what happens there? And this is the reason why I think this is very interesting. And, and I think President Biden made a mistake coming out so early when coming out, not, not addressing the issue, but 
he made a mistake coming out and saying that there's really nothing to investigate. It was an accident. And it could have been. Accidents happen. But what's interesting, even when, you know, the fires, even, uh, you know, the train derailment, uh, you know, 9-11, right? There's so many different, you know, you know issues, instances, accidents, um, you know, the terrorist attacks, whatever. The, the hard part is how do you how do you do an investigation in the middle of a recovery event of a recovery or a rescue and recovery event in most cases you don't you don't have investigators investigating anything until you have people out of the water until they they called off the search and rescue or the the, the search and recovery at this point that's what I think is very interesting. And we're starting to get some more reports now. But many are saying that President Biden made the mistake. He should not have come out so early. And now he might have to backtrack. And who knows what happens then. But just wanted to fill you in on what's going on at this time as of this morning. That is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next 